And I'm being real. The way these guys are moving, the way the energy Freddie Roach and Jamie Mosley got these D linemen moving with right now, it's not a surprise that Keon Keeley is getting pushed down the depth chart after being moved to the defensive line. I mean, when you have it in your mind that you're going to go out there and be a dog no matter what, it's kind of hard to it, it's kind of hard to pay attention to guys who feel like they they are supposed to be given something. And everybody out there, nobody out there feels like they're supposed to be given anything. So that's a scary team to deal with, man. That's a scary front to deal with. When you talk about the talent, Sean know what I'm talking about, man. D lineman, when you got D lineman with swag, that tenacious nature, and they actually good. They're not just talking it. They actually good. Motors at every spot on that front four. Motors, son. Yeah. Motors. Our old yeah. line was get, our old line <laughs> was going through hell, pure D hell in that 11 11 segment. Cause them boys in shells out there trying to, I'm talking about trying to bust heads yeah. every snap. And we still have yet to see Jaheim Otis out there because he just coming off his operation. Uh, but but if I had to pick one, man, uh I can't answer, Sean. If, if you if you had to, if you think if you had to pick somebody that you think gonna stand out this spring, who you picking, man? D line. This in this defense on the D line. <laughs> yeah, I would go. I think Tim Smith gonna act a fool, man. I do. <laughs> I think he came back for a reason. I mean, Keenan gonna handle his business on his side. Yeah. You know, but I think that pure D tackle. I think Tim Smith gonna. I think he came back for a reason, man. I yeah. think he's gonna show it from game one. All right, since you took – so I, I was going to say Tim Smith because the interview. You remember yeah. my interview? I told him – I asked him, I said, what was his reason for coming back? Tim Smith says, I want you to – he said, I, I got something to prove. People don't believe in us. Everybody think Alabama fell off. We still yeah. Bama. And he said, at the end of the day, I want to work hard. I want to be a good leader. I want to, I want to, you know, uh, freshen, uh, sharpen my skills. And I want to be the best defensive tackle in my class yep he said that and the look that he gave me y'all it wasn't like no <laughs> I'm, I'm slight about it he was serious mm -hmm. and you look at how those guys are playing in practice how they're going at it in practice they are really about their business so because you picked tim smith i'm gonna pick uh i'm gonna pick james smith yeah i'm gonna pick james smith <laughs> we saw a lot from him last year in spot play yeah i really think he's going to be because of where he has to play at, rotational spot play, right? Second guy uh, in the rotation. I don't think a lot of these guys are going to get heavy reps regardless. I, I, I think we're going to have a heavy D-line rotation with Kane Womack and his philosophy, that pressure. I really think James Smith is going to snap because you're talking about a fresh Tim, a fresh James. You got to rotate those guys. And then you got uh, Ja Latham going to be coming behind them. <laughs> yeah. Damon Payne. <laughs> Damon Payne. Yeah, I I forgot about Damon. I yeah. didn't even talk about Damon yesterday. He came on at the end of the season last year, man. He he was balling. That big Yo, 44, 44 college football balling. better be scared. If they not scared, yeah. they better. I'm telling you, they they better recognize. They better yeah. recognize. They better not come in half stepping. Kane Womack is about to have a field day, y'all. Yeah. If Kane Womack gets hired away from us, it's gonna be for good reason. Yeah, he might yeah. he might have a 2015 2016 type year with the, the defense. We already said it's over six non offensive touchdowns for the defense this year. I think the chat came to that agreement. Yeah, James Smith. Oh, Russell. Yeah, I'm just seeing your comment too, man. I just seen it. James Smith, the Smith, the Smith's gonna be showing up. We got a lot of yeah. Smiths on the defense. If y'all ain't noticed, we got a lot of Smiths over there. A lot of Smiths, a lot of Tims. Tims, you know? yep. So, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be and, great, man. And this ain't no slight to Tim Keenan. We already know Tim Keenan going to do what he do. This ain't no yeah. slight to Jaheim Otis. I think Curtis Perry going to silently be <laughs> at just as effective as some of the other names. Look, it's gonna be I, think, quiet, though. I think this defense fit Curtis Perry better than our last one. The gap that scheme. gap scheme. Oh, look yeah. at us saying the same, at the same time. That gap scheme yeah. hurt a lot of our defensive linemen for the past three or four years, bro. They didn't want to come playing that. That's a fact. That's a whole fact, brother. Ask, you, you know why we didn't get uh the kid that ended up going to Clemson? What his name? Uh, a few years ago, uh, out of Alabama. Uh, uh, yeah, I know you're talking about. Uh, I forget his name. Me, me too, Un undefeated. Come on, undefeated. Peter Woods. Peter Woods. Peter yeah. Woods. That's why we didn't get Peter Woods. Yep. Peter Woods ain't trying to play no gap scheme when he got all this speed. He could line him up at tackle or end, and he's yep. beating anybody one on one. 
taking look, on double teams on the speed rush. J two two J T Tumalau's father said his son wanted to come to Bama. Yeah, but but he didn't want his son to play in that scheme. A gap scheme. It's yeah. not. It's 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 not for this day and age, man. It's not for this. Everybody's playing in space. How yeah. do you eliminate being able to play in space? You attack. You be the uh, enforcer. You can't enforce playing gap scheme seventy percent of the game, man. You yeah. have to blitz. You have to stunt. You have to roll. You have to twist. Everything yeah. has to be aggressive in attack mode. That's why Michigan was so effective last year. They yeah. rotate their D linemen, and they didn't have D linemen standing up. Look, yeah, Leverage, they didn't have D yeah. linemen. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's cool yeah. to be able to have that in your your arsenal, but talking about doing it for 70, 80 percent of the game, that's not effective. That's why we got eight up across the middle. I started looking at it, bro. I look at how many times our def our, our mid inside linebackers got lost in coverage across the middle yeah. of the field. You want to know why? Because you're asking a linebacker, somebody who wants to go and hit somebody, to yeah. cover for three, four seconds. That's a fact. That's that's, that's fact. not effective. That's not effective. That's not. That's effective. been our problem for a while now. That's been our problem for a while now. You know, it really, really, really has. Um, I, I use this analogy a lot. I say uh, with these new school, and this is no disrespect to the new school rappers, right? I say the, today's rappers' rap skill is kind of awful, right? Mm -hmm. I said all you do, all they do is put a, a, a average lyricist behind a great beat. A great so beat. all you've done is make the producer hot. When yeah. that three four defense, all you do is make the linebackers good <laughs> because the D line get no credit in that in that Fly, Flyboy G, the the D line for what they've been asked to do has not been slack, has not yeah. been lack for what they've yeah. been asked to do. They have been great. That's the thing. Yeah. That's what's created so much value for them. That's why you see a lot of our D linemen go to the league. Christian Barmore, Q Williams. Uh, yeah. uh I mean, just names. Keep running the names yeah, up. Jonathan Demain, Jonathan Damon. I mean, mm -hmm. look at look at what they've got in the league and do and done since they left that type of scheme. It creates yeah. value. It does create a different. Uh, uh, puts another piece in your arsenal. But you're but talking you about see the when level. they defensively make to the league, they play in this scheme. <laughs> look yes. at look at uh, look at Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen. That's yes. not a three four. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm telling y'all, four two five. My boy said four five two. <laughs> we hear you. We hear you, Frank. Yeah, we hear you. Look. Lies when ran nickel. What? What you talking about, Flyboy G? I'm about to get on your neck right now. I, I, I see. I see what type of energy you coming in with with this this fake Mister. I, I I know what I'm talking about. Don't make me get on you because I'm ready for it this morning. It's Friday. Y'all know they let us act up on Fridays. They let us act up. 